Welcome to this week's episode of Studio 122. I'm your host, Chaney Mays. This week's episode will be a little bit different than the episodes we've been having in the past, whereas it is a tubular episode. If you don't know what tubular is, it is a skit-based show where we have three judges judge different productions that our TV students have made in the past week. So our first judges, let me introduce them. We have Amada Almanza. She's a sophomore in the RTV department, and she is judging on creativity today. The second judge is Brant Parker. He is judging on production, and let's just say he's a pro because he is the RTV department's production assistant. And third, we have RTV faculty member Serena Dennis, and she is judging on narrative today. Thank you, judges, for being here. All right, so today our first skit will be by Courtney Reed, and it is called <laughs> Killer of the Mouth. Let's take a look. Come on in, guys. How about a scary story to start the night off, guys? Can I at least put my bag down first? I don't know. Can you? Shut up, Jerron. weeks ago, I went home to visit my mom. We spent the day hanging out, mother-daughter time. Finally, we got home. We watched a movie. And then she went away. I was kind of confused. Didn't know where she went until I heard her yell my name from downstairs. April! Kind of shrugged my shoulders. Didn't want to get up at all. Finally, I got up. Started walking towards the stairs. And once I got to the second step, Mom grabbed me! <laughs> and then she said, I heard that too. The end. Did I scare you? Okay, guys, story time is over. How about we watch a all time not creepy at all Disney movie? Moana! Moana is the new moon, the village of monsters who would come. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. The hell do you mean? What do you mean? Did you check? Do I look like a doctor? I mean, somebody got to check. I'm pretty sure she's dead. How did she even? Oh, my God, you killed her. No, I didn't. I'm not sure. How? I know you killed her. I'm not a killer. the producer of Killer of the Mouth, Courtney Reed. Hey, Courtney. So tell us, how did you get the name for this production? Um, all of the characters in the story are named after different months. Okay, all right. And so what was your inspiration? Did you have something similar like this? I mean, obviously, hopefully no one you know died. But <laughs> did you have an experience similar to this? Uh, not really. We were actually having a sleepover the week that I wrote this, so we just like, might let's go for it. Awesome. I love it. I love it. And what is one of the hardest things about putting together a scary movie? The people. They like to fool around a lot, and so it's hard to get them to focus. So, I definitely think that's a big problem <laughs> when <laughs> filming any kind of movie, you know? So uh, what are your aspirations behind RTV? Like, what do you plan to do in this field? Um, out of college, I want to do camera work, uh, field work specifically, but as I get older, I hopefully want to be like a CEO of a company. Awesome. And what kind of company would you like to run? Not sure yet. 
still in the planning process. Awesome. Well, just remember all us little people, you know, when you get a big girl job. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Courtney. We're going to take a look at the next skit coming up. It is, oh, yes, and let's go to the judges next to talk about Courtney's skit. All right, judges. First, Amada. It had humor in it while at the same time it was full of suspense. Uh, I thought the lighting was done well. It definitely followed a lot of the rules that you need to do in shooting because there's like the 180 rule, so it doesn't really look like there's a much uh, many cut uh, cuts. Uh, audio was good, and then there's great headroom for pretty much every kind of like single shot. And I always love a pun. Anytime you can put in a pun, it's, I find that hilarious. I love how you added in the Disney movie as like a contrast to the scarier, like, oh, scary, and then, aha, uh -huh, Disney movie, then scary again. I thought that was a good balance and um, releases the tension and then builds it back up again. So. Thank you so much, judges. I guess we are on to our next skit. It is Halloween by Dwight Howard. Let's take a look. That was terrifying. Here to talk about that production, Halloween, is Dwight Goins. Hello, Dwight. Hello. Thank you so much for joining us today and sharing with us that awesome production. So tell me a little bit about how you got the inspiration behind this skit. Well, me and my friends were just watching like a bunch of horror movies, and we just kind of just came up with this. Halloween is a classic. Is that one of your favorite scary movies? Uh, definitely top, definitely. So what do you want to do in the RTV field? Uh, I want to do this. I just I want to edit films and stuff. That's all, really. What is your dream company to work with? Netflix. Netflix. That has, you know, that's really popular right now, and I bet you could probably produce something and send it to them in right now. Probably. <laughs> and what is your ideas for any upcoming skits coming along? Can you give us a little hint? I kind of want to do, like, a parody or like the woman's march but for like dudes who believe in like the friend zone it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be tight i like it i like that idea all right let's hear what our judges have to have to say let's start first with brant parker uh it was there was kind of some shaky, shaky shots when there really shouldn't have been uh your follow shots so your somebody's rolled his shoulders then they were just panning across great shots uh, and then the lighting was kept it suspenseful. It wasn't too dark. It wasn't too bright. It just kept it just right. Next to Serena. Yeah, well, I thought very creative use of the poop emoji. Like you very rarely see the poop emoji on <laughs> in horror films. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was very creative. Your standard, like a twist on your standard um, horror film where um, you d build the tension and then release it. So um, yeah, I thought it was a good length and way to tell the story. I enjoyed this video. Uh, it kept me, it grabbed my attention throughout the whole video. Uh, it had suspense. It had a little bit of comedy with the poop emoji there. I enjoyed it. 
Thank you so much, judges, and thank you so much, Dwight. We'll be right back with more scary skits after this break.